The president was greeted at Central Jersey Airport in Hillsborough by Governor Phil Murphy before heading to Somerset County, where he met with state and local leaders before touring the damage in Manville. For decades, uh, scientists have warned of extreme weather. Uh, would be more extreme, and climate change was here, and we're living through it now. We don't have any more time. Then, along with officials, including Senator Cory Booker, it was on to this area of Manville known as the Valley, where weary residents waited for his arrival, weary from days spent cleaning their homes of water-soaked belongings. Angela Rabimbas lost everything in her basement and was grateful for the attention paid to her town. Besides me, just that there are a lot of families, whether it's myself from small to big, anybody just to get any kind of help. Um, and for just one moment, everybody to just separate political interests and everything, just it's all about the people. Alan Polak lost everything in his basement. His house sits higher than most of his neighbors, but he'd seen nothing like Ida. This one was one of the worst, yes. Yeah. It came up much higher than anybody ever expected. I lost, as you can see, my whole apartment. Mm. So I lost my bed, everything, Jeez. clothes. Daniel Castro had just moved into his parents' basement. He and his family members waited for the president's arrival, just hopeful that the spotlight on the neighborhood would turn into much needed help. At this point, anything helps. Yeah. You know, it's whether it's money or just the publicity, anything helps at this point because so many people have lost so much. People like Tammy Camacho, whose mother and brother live on the same block, all three losing everything in their homes. He needs to help all of these people, all of these people. You cannot get back what you've lost. You just, and that's one thing my family's got to work on. You can't get back what you lost. You just have to start over, and it's not going to be easy. Everything in the basement, we still have to do our shed. Christine Sokolowski is hoping the president can light a fire under Congress and state officials to get real and get no, something I mean, done. Honestly, I'm just really hoping that there's some sort of bipartisan agreement that uh, climate change is real. We're seeing it here in Louisiana and out west, and we need something to do on a national level, and we also need something on a local level because we just can't keep doing this. And again, that's the message the president was pounding home today. Of course, after he uh, left here, he headed by helicopter over to Queens. But he has also made a point, as we have, uh, to let people know about that number that they need to call 1-800-621-FEMA. Uh, that is the number that's going to get you some relief. However, we know that people have been experiencing uh, hours-long uh, hold times uh, on on that uh, line, but still, uh, we urge you to keep calling.